video has been making the rounds online since yesterday. Shows armed men walking through a building, knocking on doors and entering an apartment. A former resident and, and at city council member tells us these men are part of a dangerous Venezuelan gang and their numbers have been growing steadily because of the crisis at the border. What have you seen? being this close. I mean, your, your store literally backs up to the Roosevelt Hotel. Right. What have you witnessed? It's, it's really horrible. Horrible children, kids, babies, mothers, fathers sitting on the floor. They don't know what they're doing. It's not even even affecting just, just this business. It's affecting all the businesses around this area. But how do we go about helping other people when we're not even taking care of there's a homeless vet that used to sleep in there he can no longer sleep in his doorway because now that's taken by the migrants the Venezuelan gang is taking over illegal immigrants the things that they don't want you to know this is in denver the other is in colorado they're coming through they're illegal immigrants undocumented bringing the drugs bringing the gang their own mission to take over america and the average number of encounters in the last week is 9600 per day Border Patrol agents are doing everything they can to take care of the situation, but they are completely overwhelmed. Completely just overwhelmed with the situation, and it's getting worse. Even Martin Luther King, who was a Republican. That's right. Who was a Republican. All right. He made a key point. If you have not done nothing about this all this time, what is the chances that you are going to really make a difference? People talk a lot, but don't watch what people be saying. Look at what they do and you'll get your answer. Y'all better not believe everything y'all hear. Y'all better do your research, do your fact checks, and realize it's more serious than what a smile can really show you. Until next time, it's your sister Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Y'all better be blessed. And the uh, free men, they was the one who ran the Republican Party. Okay, until Woodrow Wilson. And at the same time, like I said, the vast majority of your black uh, slave owners was the Democrats. Up That's right. Yeah, what the Democrats? A lot of people don't realize that the, the, the KKK was an arm of the exactly. Democratic they was an Democrat. Democrat. And yeah. then at the same time, they became even more popular under LBJ. Right. And then at the same time, because he was a, a Ku Klux Klan. And, and uh, I remember, because I was 13 years old when I went to that civil rights march. Okay, well, the thing is, is that um, most of your entertainers, black entertainers and stuff like that, they all voted Republican. And the reason why a lot of the Democrats get into office, because when blacks was able to vote, okay, when they were able to vote, and they knew, the, the Democrats knew that the, Repu that the black people held Republican tickets, they took their tickets out of their hands and put two. Democrats in the box. Okay, that's how they got back into the office. The Democrats. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.